Today's show, episode number 170. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is James. Sorry. Ah, wow. Okay. What's Jurassic World yesterday? And it was the best thing I have seen in a while. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I've seen something even hype, but I'm not gonna talk w- about it. W- w- go watch Jurassic World. It is really, really good. Oh yeah, Serious- I agree on that. seriously, seriously, go watch it. And also joining us today is King. Hello, I return my models. Bow before your king. Hey. <laughs> and also joining us is Kyle. Hey everyone, no need to bow to me. Please don't. I'm- <laughs> king will kill me. <laughs> Oh, uh, Peter, I'll give you where you stand. I do not bow before you, my king. <laughs> uh, my master. Anyway. So, so how is everyone? How is everyone? And I'll start off with James first. So how are you, man? Uh, week was an absolute nightmare until the weekend happened and now uh, things are a lot better. You know, it is very difficult to plan out for uh, for someone else's holidays when you have to combine it with your with your own work. And you have to sacrifice work time and all that. Mm. Especially when you are running tight on money. Uh. But thanks to a couple of pictures completed and all that, now I am in a better position. So I'm looking forward to this week. So yeah, I am better. Awesome, awesome. Good to know. Mm-hmm. And also, you, mm-hmm. like you mentioned, you watch The Racing World. I watched that too. And yeah. <laughs> uh, I was full a while ago when the trailer showed uh, Raptors on Motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I will say this, and I won't say more about the movie because I am not. Yeah, I know a movie such as Jurassic World. You can say oh, it's what it's dinosaurs. You cannot spoil it. No, seriously, you can totally spoil it. Mm-hmm. But I will say this one thing: the trailer makes no justice to the movie. Oh yeah, and the trailer it's, has a lot of spoilers. Like, ugh. it's a case. It's a case of. It's something that happens with legendary pictures. There is always something that kind of ruins the movie before you go watch it. It can either be the trailer or it can be the title because, I mean, come on, mm. Pacific Rim, really? Yeah. That is the stupidest title in the history of movies, mm. but the movie is awesome. Mm. So don't let the trailer uh, uh, blindfold you. The movie is better than the trailer makes it look. You know, James, I, I have this thing where if I don't care for the movie, I'll watch the trailers and by that I'll judge it there and I'll quote unquote watch it or don't watch it. But for Jurassic World, I went in blind, not knowing anything, and it's a big budget title. It's the fourth in its series, so I know it's going to be fun. You say fourth in the series, but there is, this is the first movie to be called Jurassic World. The way that we should see Jurassic World is, if, and if we're going to talk about Jurassic World right now, mm-hmm. it's more of a spin-off of the first movie than a sequel to the third movie because yeah. it completely disregards yeah. any events that happen in Lost World and in Jurassic Park 3. There is no talk about the San Diego Jurassic Park mm. or the, the T-Rex escaping in the city or Alan Grant going to uh, Site B to to look for a lost child or anything. There is none of that. Yeah. It picks up where the first movie left. True, and there's no somersaulting kid kicking a raptor to its death. So there's that too. The book wasn't much better than the movie, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> flawed source material, flawed result. Eh. What do you want? At least Chris <laughs> Pratt was awesome in this one. You know what? I think we have been beaten up by two terrible movies so hard that <laughs> even just... Uh, I'm pretty sure that if we watch it without the nostalgia, red uh, rose-tinted glasses, the movie is just decent. But when it comes to the Jurassic Park franchise, Decent is incredible. <laughs> Honestly speaking, so, I've never been a fan of Jurassic Park, or I have little recollection of the first one. It's a, it's in my mind, but I never hold it up to a high regard. It's a good movie and all, but eh. But after watching this one, eh, it's okay. I, I enjoy it. We're money well spent. And moving on to King. How's the week been, man? I... I, so much things do. Time, no more. I need more. I, I've, in personal life, I've been working very hard for the last month and a half, uh, looking for jobs, doing courses, leading teams, mm-hmm. being made team leader. So in, in a couple of weeks' time, I'm going to be going abroad and leading a team of 60 people. Ooh. That's going to be fun. 
Yeah, you mentioned you, you mentioned previously on the show that you're uh, training to become a firefighter and squash fires in the fandoms and whatnot. So how's that been doing? That's that's the cause I'm doing is I've been doing I've been going along doing what I thought was right, just going along, and then they pulled me aside halfway through and said, "We're taking you off the course," and I've gone, "What? Why?" Uh, because we need you to push you on a higher course. And I go, oh, what's <laughs> higher than this? Oh, okay. Basically, I can't remember the, the name of the course was, but long story short is that if I get the job at the end of it, mm-hmm. which looks like it might, I might do, I won't be just a fireman. I'll be the the fire station leader, uh, mm. which is why I'm going on this course wow. abroad. Um, so basically, uh, for the next for like two or three weeks, I'm going to be in charge of uh, another fire station team for mm. two weeks. Wow. So that'll be fun. This is this is awesome. Like Yeah. But at the same time I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> James knows a military guy, uh, and we know you who's gonna be a fireman guy. And then like, wow, this is just awesome. Like I, I, I can only hope, yeah, but uh, there's no definite. Yeah. Uh it's just this is just to get the qualification and stuff. And then of course I've 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 suddenly got like the creative fit, creativity back, and I'm making comics, drawing pictures again, and I've kind of gone overboard with the videos. I mean, today alone I've made four videos and a speed paint. I need to do a, the reaction for today's episode. I've been busy. You're going to enjoy today. Suddenly, it's like, it's like suddenly you come back from like two, three weeks of inactivity, and because there is a new episode, suddenly everything is <laughs> piled up on you, and you're it's like, oh no, just... where do I begin? <laughs> Yeah, it's not even just the new episode, it's just, like, uh, how can I describe this? The best way I can describe it is that I just had, like, a, a funk recently, and that was it. We have a, we have an expression in Spanish, it's like, it's, uh, like, f- uh, hunger appear right during fasting. <laughs> so, it's like, you were, uh, you had a lot of things pending to work on, and suddenly you have even more. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's so like, it's a never, never ending, the never-ending task, never-ending work. That happens more often than not. But who says it's not fun? Mm, true that, true that. And, you know, <laughs> with all the time that you've been doodling in class, showing me pictures on Snapchat, <laughs> that's <Yeah>. fun. <laughs> I drew a Discord, uh, which I, I, I kind of like. And then I went from Discord, and then I'd look up and realize, oh, the lesson's over. Good thing I'm good, like a multitask. <laughs> uh, and what about you, Kyle? Yeah, things have been interesting recently. It's been a uh, work-wise in the real world. It's been uh, a bit of a mixed bag. Um, I've been uh, signed off from one of my jobs uh, to deal with mental health issues, so Aww. I'm trying to stay on top of that, which is not a bad thing, by the way. This is good news, you know. Well, mind you, not working is always a bit of good news, but uh, you know, it's it's good to have that bit of space to try and get my head together. But it's, it's allowing me to take on a few other projects. I've Finish work on a new short film script, which I've been, I'm absolutely really amazed about. I think it's one of the better scripts I've wrote. So hopefully I might get someone interested in that. And, uh, I'm also working with, um, Diane, uh, Sugar Dove as part of the Helm Bronies on a new, um, podcast thing on uh-huh. YouTube, uh, which, um, which in no way am I trying to plug here, which will pilot episode Try involving to. James. <laughs> And we'll come huh? on a traitor. What? I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'm sorry. I did. I am shameless. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am not. I. I cannot confirm nor deny my involvement into anything that you have to do. What is this traitor? Yes, there's. I. Can, I I'm sorry. I cannot I confirm or deny any rumors that next week there may be a pilot episode for a new podcast called Midnight Scribes. I didn't do anything. Creative I didn't Bites. record anything. You. 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 You cannot. You cannot prove it. In that case, as an imposter, you need to chase him down, man. I mean, I kid you not, he had the same hair as everything. I tell you what, the celluloid looked I had nothing really to do with President Kennedy's assassination. Oh, wait a minute, this is not what we're talking about. <laughs> That's uh, not a conversation. Wrong, wrong time period, mate. Sorry, yeah. I am going to have to murder each and every single one of you. Uh, it's going to be a bit hard to do that over the internet. Oh, uh, you'd be surprised. Yeah, if I can time travel, if I can time travel, I can also space travel. <laughs> uh... Oh well. <laughs> oh well, talking about killing stuff, what about killing our wallets? Like, Steam sale is going on now, and oh my god, I've bought a lot of games, like, ah. You and me both. Oh, the games I bought this month, like, I, I bought, let's see, okay, I'm gonna click open Steam, and just click and see, okay, I bought Dusty's Revenge, it's a side-scroller beat-em-up, it's really good, 
I think furries will like it because it's anthropomorphic. And also Freedom Planet. Uh, the best friends are playing this and oh god, this is so good. Uh, and then I recently bought Ticket to Ride so I can play with Kyle here. So yay, Ticket to Ride. That is the game to get, ladies and gentlemen. If you are going to buy a game on Steam during the sale, this is my personal pick mm -hmm. for uh, the Steam sale, Ticket to Ride. I've been a huge fan of this game for years. Um, myself and my friend Douglas, we originally played this on the Xbox 360. You can get that on the marketplace there. Fell in love with it. Then we got the PC version. <laughs> Then we got the card game, and then we got the board game. True that, true that. Don't say that, Chris. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's also good too. Oh, God. And if I remember, it's eighty percent off. Ah, so much games. Was eighty percent off there? Just for Guns of Icarus. Also a good oh, game. Guns of Icarus. I have been meaning to play that game for quite a while. I know you've mentioned it say, a fair few times whenever we've been chatting and mm -hmm. I remember, oh crikey, I still remember interviewing the developers a few years back. You oh, know, this is back when the game was like getting kickstarted. It wasn't even like, you know, being developed as such. So it feels quite odd seeing come back to the game this far and going like, wow, it's, I it was you know, it's going to so much. I it wasn't. I was yeah, like, that's it. Yeah, because people have been, what, having thir level 30 something in their levels and like, how long have you been playing this non-stop? <laughs> We've uh, played this like ridiculously fast. It's like, no, it's been out for years, dude. And I'm like, oh. Oh, uh, okay. I was not aware of that. Mm. Yeah, that's normal then, that's normal. And also on the list, I bought Street Fighter for uh, the ultimate thingy, whatever updated. So yeah, um, I'm all up to date on Street Fighter and whatnot. And also, there's well, since this Steam sale is on, um, James's favorite game is also on sale too, right, James? Um, which one of the many? Because I have a lot of favorite video games. <laughs> <laughs> the trilogy that involves space. Oh, you're talking Mass about Mass Effect. Mass yeah. Effect is on... But hang on a minute. Mass Effect 3 was not nah, on Steam. Not yet. Not yet. If I, if I remember, it's not yet or it's not. But one in no, two... No, you are... see, is that because Electronic Arts bought Bioware or they got, they took Bioware or they, I don't know, smuggled Bioware <laughs> from Microsoft or uh -huh. whatever. They uh, they did not release Mass Effect 3 on Steam, but they did it on Origin, mm -hmm. which is their own version of Steam. And you can only get Mass Effect 1 and 2 on Steam right now. Mm -hmm. Are the only games that you can obtain from the Mass Effect series. But that is perfectly fine, because we all know that the best games are the first and the second. I mean, come mm -hmm. on. Even I will admit that the third one is rather crappy. Uh So, well, I don't know. How much is Mass Effect 2 now? Hmm, I'm not sure. I need, I need to double check on Steam. But you know what, James? Mass Effect 3, I, I like the story between Joker and ED. That was a fun story. Like how ED went into the human, uh, or, well, the cyborg body and whatnot. I, I like that story and where it went. That was fun. I, I just love that. Wait, what did the Joker's, like, the only thing I know about the Joker's that he's voiced by Seth Green. Yeah. And talking about Seth Green, <laughs> recently he went to a convention or a place where they're showing bro um, pony toys, and it seems <laughs> that he's brony curious. <laughs> oh my Ooh. god. First, like, unconfirmed, uh, what's his name? Robbie Downey Jr., then mm -hmm. Seth Green. Slowly my dream team comes together. <laughs> And if you do click on the link, you, you'll get to see him posing in front of, uh, well, I'm not sure what's that, a standee of Celestia and Luna fighting, and that's just badass. I don't even know uh, what to say to that, that's that. People always make a big deal out of a celebrity t uh, turning into the, turning into the, the pink side of the <laughs> pony fandom. Uh, there is, there is no dark side, there is pink side and there is magenta side. Um, honestly, I don't care. Uh, I mean, I am not going to, this is not, this is not the Church of Scientology. I'm not going to turn into a fan of something just because a very popular guy is following it. Like, if it's, if you come to me and say, oh, well, look, Steven Spielberg, he says he wants to direct an episode of MLP, I'll be like, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a brony and has a giant plush of Princess Celestia. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. See, the reason I'm happy about it is because while I was on this trip, uh, like I mentioned before, someone saw my phone and was like, oh my god, are you a brony? What the hell? Oh, I'm not, I'm not even listening to you. And I said, yeah, but you know who else? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And then he, I walked out, he had an Avengers shirt on. Mm -hmm. He went, what do you think of Robbie Downey Jr.? And he said, I, I love him. Why? He's awesome. And I was like, do you know who he is as well? He is what? Like me. And he went, oh. 
<laughs> and immediately he had no problem with me. So I'm I don't think that... he really. I don't think he really is, though. I mean, that post on Facebook. Oh no, I know. But what I'm saying is, is like, if I can turn around and say that this person is, then people might just go, "Oh, okay, fair enough. This person I seem to respect is. Maybe I should back the hell off." <laughs> That's kind of convincing people from stop being cynical jerks, which is something that you cannot really change, um, especially yeah. when the person is. It's fairly old. Like, it, it, it gets to a point on, on a person's life that they become that kind of person until the day they die. If you try to convince someone that, oh, being a brony is fine because a more famous person is also a brony, then I will tell you, hey, you know who's also a brony? Miley Cyrus. Oh. Is she? Yeah. Is she? 100% yes. confirmed? More than Robert Downey Jr. Oh, well. Hey, if I'd like to point out that I, you've and, asked, and just managed to make me go, oh. <laughs> to compensate on that, to compensate on that, also a brony is Lady Gaga. Oh, awesome. But you know what, yeah. you know what? It's there's, on the other side of the spectrum from Miley Cyrus. Yeah, so. there's, there's a mixed bag. Like, everybody is allowed to love the show. And Kyle, what do you think, man? Like, Seth Green, possibly? No, I yes. don't know. Miley Cyrus is kind of pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, is anyone surprised that Seth Green might be a brony? Like, is, was that... News. I mean, uh, he seems uh, like we know he's a huge uh, nerd. You know, he's huge. Yeah, he's huge nerd. He's mm-hmm. huge in that sort of community. The My Little Pony community isn't that far out. Yeah, true. I mean, in terms of being huge in the internet, having that same, having a sort of crossover appeal. So that it's not the most surprising thing in the world. I reckon he'd be open enough to it. And there's something I want to say no to him being involved because hey, listen, if he likes the show, they might have him on. Ah, so true, so true. That that could be a possibility because Terra Strong is in um, Los Angeles. I think they recorded something because, well, um, Seth was in Marvel. Like he's doing well a few things. If I remember right, he's doing uh, a bomb from Agent of Smash. That's a Marvel, the Hulk kind of show, and also he's doing Leonardo in the new uh, Ninja Turtles thing. Not only that, but Tara Strong and Seth Green know each other also through Seth MacFarlane from Family Guy. So mm, yeah, yeah. Tara Strong did voice a couple of characters for a couple of seasons of Family Guy as oh, well. True that, true that, true that. Yeah, she did voice Tara Strong. Ted. Yeah, she also she also voiced Ted when when Ted still uh, is still a toy in in the in the Ted movie. It's kind of cool that they all know each other like via proxy and things like that, which I think is just really cool. And therefore, they, we, you know, who knows who could end up on the show? Mm, true that, true that. Because the first thing that happened, the first similar thing that happened was uh, Will Anderson, the background guy for MLP, used to work with Wirel. And you're talking about the guy who does the music, comp- yeah. the musical compositions, not yeah. Daniel Ingram. No, no, I say uh, Will, uh, Will N. Will you, said, you, said the ba- you said the background guy, and I'm like, uh, Yeah, background guy. Uh, yeah, background music guy. Yeah, Will Anderson, background guy. Score composer, yes. So, anyway, yeah, we, we have that. And so with that, there's an episode involving Where L. And, you know, with... Weird L on board. The possibilities are, are endless. We can almost hope to get anyone that's interested in. And talking about people who are interested in ponies, it seems that a certain blue hedgehog has a beef with a certain blue pegasi. I'm sorry, that is my... That's not a word! ...alarm going off. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go turn it off right now. Okay. There you go. I wasn't sure if that was your... That's not a word! ...alarm or your psycho alarm. <laughs> no, no, no. That sounds like murder, 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 murder. I mean, it was either that or it was you trying to cover I Got a Feeling by the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> no, that is the one that goes off when I want to listen to some music. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, okay, uh, here, here, on the official Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter of all things... Uh, here, here is what he wrote at MLP underscore Rainbow. Uh, daily reminder: She's just the fastest Pegasite in Equestria, while I am the fastest thing alive. <laughs> you're not alive. You're a stupid '80s <laughs> cartoon. Uh, hey, he's you just... overrated that's... piece of. That's not a word. That's called God damn it. <laughs> John, no, that's not the bit that I have beef with, right? Okay, it's the okay, okay. saying you know he's faster than Rainbow Dash, you know. We're missing the point here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That day on Equestria Daily, mm-hmm. Seth looked around and said, <laughs> Boy, there is no news today. Oh, I know. I'm going to post this stupid role-playing account to it here. Yes, it has the same legitimacy as anything else that we have posted. Wow. 
Oh my gosh, sometimes that website is really, really, really stupidly admin. Uh, but James, it seems that you're really angry about this. I, I'm angry because I'm like, what is the point? What is the point of like, not just, not, not making the tweet and all that. I mean, it's a role play account. You can mm. do whatever you want with it because that's your gist, but why are you uploading it to a crystal lately? Why are you sharing it? Why are you giving it the spotlight? Because it's no, no, funny. You, no, you're, it, it, I, I think it's, there is a difference between, there is a very fine line between funny and stupid. And it's so fine that it can only be, uh, blurred by good writing. Mm-hmm. Or, or, or a good reasoning, I think there is no justifying <laughs> putting that tweet in there. I don't think it's funny. I think it's stupid. I mean, come on. You could very well just, they have done this before. You can just w- go and say, oh, we have no news today. Hey, look, a, a, a gift set of Derpy being cute. Yeah, I mean, just to they, say a pony. But this one is... I, mean, I think it's, I think, I think it's unnecessary. That's the thing is that, they, what is the point of this? This, this is such a, Good waste of space that could have been taken by an advert. Hey, but still, it's something there. And f- there's a Venn diagram of bronies who like Sonic and Sonic fans who like ponies. So, hey, it's a similar of interest because I know King here likes Sonic. Right, King? Yeah, Sonic was the fandom I was in before this when I was like 13, I think it was when I stopped really caring. Mm-hmm. Then I found this, so... Uh, no, it, it, I think it's kind of funny. Like, it's just a role-playing thing that's gone wrong, if that makes sense. Like, they're just having a bit of fun, and then some people start taking a bit of out of context and being stupid with it, so... Well, but that's the thing that happens when you have uh, when you have one fandom that is built on we are self-entitled and Sega listens to our demands, and uh, when you pit it against the fandom that is... Oh, you don't complain about this because it's perfect and Lauren Fow shouldn't have let in season two. That's what happens when you combine those two things. People are going to yeah. be stupid. You seem to forget. You said it's go, go stupid. There are a lot of people that are stupid. <laughs> We've said stupid so much. I feel like with Dexter's party. No, oh, you're stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> let's not forget that you're stupid. That's stupid. No, you're stupid. No, you are so stupid. Um, uh, my, my, my father can beat your father any time <laughs> of the week. Uh, but. The internet has managed to turn every single fight into a into a high school pit fight <laughs> event. Uh, you managed to demonstrate like, quite well there, James. <laughs> who cares about uh, one thing or another? It's a video game and it's a show. And to be perfectly honest, when someone calls them overrated, I have no argument there. Uh, it's it's I... it's interesting how MLP has gone from the most underrated show in twenty twenty eleven. To actually one of the most overrated shows in recent yeah. history. Yeah. Um, I would, people say that's like, that show's overrated. I'm like, I completely agree with you, but I still like yeah, it. Yeah, I agree <laughs> as well. I absolutely agree. I love the show from beginning to end, but it's not my favorite show. When Uh-oh. I did my list of my, yeah, it's not my favorite show. My favorite show is still Futurama. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't it, watch it, shows it is, much. I, I, it, 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 Futurama gave me so much and it, it stayed with me for so long. There is no way I can replace it for, for, uh, with anything else. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, My Little Pony gets strung by shows like Outlaw Star, the Miyazaki animated, Sherlock Holmes, um, CSI. Yeah, I even like CSI over MLP in many seasons. It was a very fun show. Gurren Lagan, I mean, come on, guys. Be serious. Yeah. Oh, I, I treat anime differently, but yeah. Yeah, but I think you guys are taking this way beyond the point of this is just a joke. Don't take it too seriously. We're not really taking it, uh, taking it too seriously. We're just arguing that it's a, it's a role play account. Who gives a shit? Well, I mean, who you, cares? You... Who cares about it? It's not, it, it's, it shouldn't supposed to be news. It shouldn't even have its own post. This is the kind of thing that you do a screen cap and you put it on their people and people forget about it because they are looking at the next not safe for war picture of Final Scratch. I mean, people forget about these kind of things. And Equestria Daily dedicates it its own post. Well, because the reason why is because it's from Sonic the Hedgehog official Twitter. That's why. Yeah, in, yeah, in, the, in the me. Why did Equestria have Final Scratch? There are so many other ponies. Anyway, because yeah. because I ha- because I have vinyl on on, on the uh, head after, after episode one hundred. Because you happen open. to have that tab open, James. Is that oh right? god, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have any tab open. Close. <laughs> uh, but uh, with that also, with that also, he also mentioned another tweet that it could be worse. We could have been uh, reimagined as humans going to high school. 
<laughs> Principal Eggman. Uh, that's well, it could just... be worse. I mean, you could have a sort of the Hedgehog show where they pretend to be a band. Oh, no! Uh, no! Yes. Sonic Underground, all right? I do, don't actually, I do. I actually do like Sonic Underground, but look, if Sonic's going to do this MLP, it's only fair that we do one back, and <laughs> frankly, <laughs> Sonic Underground is the weakest of the four, or actually five, Sonic shows. Uh, yeah. I mean, it I, to be so fair, I mean, we made a movie based on it. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Which, don't get me wrong, I friggin' love. You know how much I love the films, so. Mm, true, you you were born from that uh, movie, too. I wasn't born from it, no. I, you basically just said that uh, Flash and Twilight got together in the end. No, um, I, yeah, that's kind of what got me together, is the movies. And, I mean, I, I'd love to see another MLP movie. I mean... Yeah, same here. I, I think they're doing what um, the 2015 one do something to do with Equestria games or sports or something like that. Like the no, I've not heard anything French... about this. Is it is that in the news or anything? It's not. It's like friendship game or something like that that's coming this year. The toys are everywhere, and I, I don't know what it's about, and I got no idea this about the synopsis and whatnot. But what I do know that in 2017, there's going to be a full production uh, movie version of the show. It's something done by, uh, who was it? Oh, hell yes, really? Yeah, so I, I forgot who. Oh. I forgot who um, did it or something like that. Like, uh, who he was responsible for. Uh, James, you remember this? I have no idea who was the person writing the script for the MLP movie. No idea whatsoever. But I know that Megan McCarthy is working on it as well. So if it's Megan working on it, we are in good hands. Mm, I do remember Megan working on it and also another director. If I'm not mistaken, he did G.I. Joe? Or was it? Mm, 100% sure. <laughs> if, we, if we did G.I. Joe, we are not in good hands anymore then. But I, I don't know. if Because, I mean, Megan is good, but she's not a medical worker. <laughs> hey, she did well. She did well, like... Yeah, but when you have someone who work on G.I. I mean, come on, the, both movies are absolutely garbage. Hey, G- how do I put this? G.I. Joe is one thing, but my why is okay. So on a side note, I am currently researching the things I'm talking about for this movie, and on Derpy Baru, on the right side, there's a must watch video. Jurassic World trailers there. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Back to that again. Back in the world. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. But yeah, the director that's working on, uh, was it director or sc- scriptwriter uh, is Joe Bellerin. He's the guy who did Ice Age Continental Drift out of many. Hmm. So yeah, who knows? It might be good. I'm not sure who's the director, but this is one of the few movies that Hasbro is doing under their Allspark production, uh, line. The other one is going to be Gem and the Hologram. Uh, gem that, you know, Gem. No, I have no idea. I, I know what you're on about. I'm trying to forget the 1980s theme tune, which is now stuck in my <laughs> head because you've mentioned yes. Hans. Gem! <laughs> it's totally outrageous. Oh, I know. it. What was it like? Oh, I'm going to kill myself for saying this. What was it like? Glamour and glitter, fashion and pain. <laughs> Jam is truly outrageous. Uh, oh, oh, I no. have literally no idea what they're on about, James. Do you? <laughs> truly, truly outrageous. Uh, yes, I, I do, I do know very well what they are talking about, and I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, no, you have to excuse me for a minute because it's not, okay, do, don't judge, don't judge my opinion of, of Jam and the Holograms mm. because I think it was a very interesting show. I think it was the type of show that that the time needed because uh, it uh, not many shows were uh, representing female characters and women in in cartoons as you know uh, em- uh, empowering, independent, and not needing to. They know they don't need no man. Mm. It's the, the 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 kind of strong, interesting. Uh, uh, distinctive characters that they don't all sound the same they have their own different personalities and they all they are all good and they are all likable and what little I managed to watch of Gem and the Holograms was actually really good but I hated the show because every single person that I knew in real life every one of my friends they were obsessed and I mean absolutely obsessed uh, uh, with it 
to the point that they made me get sick and tired of the show. So when people say, oh, I'm sick and tired of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, all of these people are just annoying and they never stop talking about it, I am like, I agree with you. <laughs> and I know very well where you're coming from. Because I had the same experience with Diamond and the Holograms. Uh, but Ponies is better, so it's fine. <laughs> Shut up. Well, one thing I do <laughs> like about Gem was the main antagonist was a punk rock band. So, <laughs> yeah. But talking about Gem and talking about punk rocks, did you guys know that punk rock was discovered in the UK? Yeah, I did. Yep. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah, so uh, what's in the UK, if you guys know? What's in what's in the UK? Yeah, sorry? What, what what else? Hey. Is, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, well, oh, in UK. Oh, there's all sorts of things in the UK. I mean, there's Scotland, England, Wales, mm-hmm. England, Wales, and Ireland. I mean, that's a good start. Northern Ireland. Uh, uh, yeah, but there's also King, and there's where I met King for the first time at Buck when he went to James's table and say, "I'm kick as King," and I remember that name because it's a kick as name. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of changing. It. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Oh, come on, I'm getting sick of people like, Hey, kick us in, what are you, 11? I was when I wrote it, now I'm 23. <laughs> <laughs> Flick them off and then leave whatever chat room I'm in. Oh. I'm thinking of changing it. Oh, uh, well, if, if you're going to change it, then we're going to meet for the first time then. But you know what? If you're, if you're going to meet, why not at Buck 2016? Because right now, Bucks are selling their tickets at, well, for Buck 2016. At ridiculous prices. <laughs> also true, also true. I'm sorry, I, I, I... I'm still going. Like, I really want to go. But nearly everyone else I've asked has said, nope, not going. And I've gone, why is that? I said, have you looked at the prices? No, I haven't. Well, it's £100 to get in. Oh, cool. How much? And what's the basic ticket? That is the basic ticket. (laughs) Yeah, I was about to ask the exact same thing. That is crazy. I cannot afford £100. Oh, I'm still going. But uh, I Uh... might not be. I want to get, like, the poster and stuff and all that. And I want to meet my friends. But I'd have to find a place to stay and, and everything like that. And it's like... Is it worth it? Do you want to share room skin? <laughs> yeah, let's share. Uh, yeah, if you want. Let's share. Don't mind if me if, if, if we there, split, me. you know what? If we split the prices, Norman can tell you because we did that on the Britannia Hotel mm-hmm. last year. If if you uh, uh if you and I and another guy can split the prices, then we can uh, we can all three stay in a triple room and we won't have to pay more than a hundred and seventy five pounds each. Well, what I'm what I'm doing with the Great British Burning Con, which is in about a month's time, uh. I am going, I've booked a room, it's a single bedroom, to which I've given the bed to two of my friends, and I'm sleeping on the floor. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Sorry, this is a fan fiction waiting to be written. <laughs> Yay. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm sitting, I have a porn over me, it's fine. Oh, no. But, okay. Pow, 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 pow. Okay. Pow, pow, pow. Uh, let, let me try and salvage this. Let me try and salvage this. Because, uh... No, Norman, too late, it's lost. You have to give up. Come on, Norman, you're not interested in a porno with me. No tears, only dreams now. But, guys, uh, I did the calculation, and, okay, the full weekend ticket... The calculation? Co- calculation. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you're worth it. Um, <laughs> no more tears. <laughs> I did the counting, and uh, it's true that a full weekend, that's including uh, first day, summer sun, and uh, second day, is 99, well, uh, almost 100 pounds. Yes, but if you spend only on the single day Saturday and uh, single day Sunday, that's about uh, eighty something. You will save about ten pound ten cents, not including the summer sun celebration. Cents. Yeah, because of the ninety nine at the back. Deal with it. Pence. Pence. Wow. Okay. S- stuff. Yeah, but so tickets. That's that's how they do tickets. Cents. I Americans. Hey, we were. I don't know, but anyway. Um. That's the ticket you save about ten pounds, but here's the other thing that you guys are going on where you say it was a bit expensive because um if you want add ons like um there's something called generosity and it's a donation bash what a way blah 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 I don't know um it's something to support but... it's about forty pound for the last year I spent a hundred and forty pound to go to book. Mm-hmm. And it was great. And with that £140, I got in, I got a shirt, I got a VIP meal, mm-hmm. I got to, I got front row for every, every panel. To get in, it's £100. If you want front row seats, it's another £40. If you want a t-shirt, 
it's another forty pound. If you want the poster and the book, it's another forty pound. Mm, that's true. All separate of each other. Yeah. And then that's not even all. Of that. There's loads of other extras. Like if you want the VIP meal, that's another. Fifty pounds. But the thing is, it starts getting ridiculous. I, I, you know what? I, I think I will. I will pass on the VIP meal. You didn't go to last year's yeah. VIP meal. Oh, that's where I'm at. I, 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 I heard it was kind of like awkward, yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, from what I heard, it was, a bunch of, it was a bunch of breweries. I was literally sat there in a group going, "Well, you're all boring. I'm going to start dancing and started talking to everyone." And everyone's like, "What are you doing? Go away!" <laughs> are you doing the Mr. Bean dance? No, I was doing my epic no. dancing. Epic. He was doing the shepherd. <laughs> doing the shepherd shuffle. <laughs> yeah, no. I was actually Dude, that is the I... best dance ever. I dance yeah. like that in every disco. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I spent, literally spent the entire time either eating and chatting with people, or I just I just literally spent it like a night out. But then again, I'm used to going on nights out. I have a feeling the people that go to those conventions aren't so used to going on nights out. But if you guys think about it, okay, it's true that the tickets are expensive. But you can pick the add-on you want because, like, let's just say, like, James here, he spent, like, about a full-price buck ticket, which was £300, and he didn't go for the dinner. He didn't go for most of the things. So it's kind of a waste. Now you can, well, pick and choose whatever you want. The base price for the whole shebang is about hundred pounds. It's very expensive. Well, true yeah. that for... I suppose the thing is, I suppose the problem is, is that you can if you were to put it all together and put a certain price on it, 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 it reminds me of like when you buy something on eBay or when I buy something on eBay, like if you're buying a video game console and you're buying games, you can either buy the console and the game separately or you can buy it in a bundle. And when it's a bundle, you're usually getting a deal of some sort, you know, usually there's sort of a markdown, you know, like you might save a bit of money because it's all been bundled together. The problem with these tickets and the way it's been done is the fact that they've separated everything out, which in theory should be good, but the markups they put on the individual options you can add on are far too high for what they're yeah. actually worth mm. a t-shirt for 40 quid i mean really well okay if that's the case right okay i do understand where you're coming from but i'm going from the point of view where last year i spent about what was it 300 pounds for a full fledged buck ticket so now if i just spent a hundred pounds on this one i see where you're coming from you're saying you you didn't you didn't want everything that came with the ticket yeah something like and that. therefore it you basically you you as someone who is going to get the full ticket anyway which is what i'm guessing mm -hmm. it's cheaper for you but for people like me who went there with a budget mm. and literally went there with the intention of getting like as much as they can for as little as possible it's actually a bit of an outrage okay i understand i understand yeah because if i'm not mistaken king you did get the full package right I did, yeah, mm. but that was when I had a job and a fast bit of a bit of spare money. Mm. But now I don't, so I'm literally scraped enough money to go to this convention that's coming up. Oh. But I might not even be able to buy anything when I'm there. True, that. So be pragmatic here uh, with with us, Kin. Will you the will you say it was worth worth it despite you having the money and uh, being able what, to afford it and everything? Yeah. I mean, for all the things that you that you paid for that you didn't get to do or that you you didn't get to. Uh, oh, trust me, I did everything. Everything, I, everything I paid for, I bloody did. <laughs> oh. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I got to meet. Uh, I met you guys. I met Twilight. I met uh, Dave Pulaski. That was bloody amazing. I got to see some amazing things, and it was really, really worth it. But at the same time, I don't. I don't know if it would be worth it again this year. Mm, okay. Because. Of how much? It, I mean, just a hundred. I would love. I'm definitely going, if I go. I'm definitely going to summer sun celebration again. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And um, that it was just amazing. But then there's like, like I said, it's not the summer sun celebration is fifty pound on its own. That's already pretty pricey. Summer sun is just twenty pound. Is yeah, it twenty pound on its own? Well, one hundred twenty pound. Okay, uh, you know, still last year I could have got the twenty percent cooler. I'd still have gone to the summer sun thing, yeah. The summer sun and and other things, yeah. so it's already looking to be more expensive than it was last yeah, time. True that, but hey, uh, if you're the kind of person who thinks about, I, I just want to go for one day and play mini golf with the guests, it's just about if I oh, pounds. that's then yeah, then that's good. Yeah. Well, it's it's well, a it's a buffet kind of deal. It's it's a double edged sword. It's cheap if you knew the price from last year, but looking at it. As it is now, it's pricey. I do agree on that. But anyway, but hey, but hey. I mean, that's one thing you could do. I mean, with the amount of money that you you, you could spend on all that, 
I could go out and buy every official UK comic or the the, the fandom comic, not the fandom, the uh, the comics you guys review, mm. like the backlog. I could go out and buy them all, mm. and then have some left over. True, you know. True. And talking about books, the official UK My Little Pony book. Uh, I, I'm not sure what it's called. It's just My Little Pony. It has a vinyl figure and also a comic dedicated to her inside. So that's cool. Oh, it's I'm glad good. that you bring this up. I am glad that you bring this up, mm-hmm. Norman. Because that's that's very unfair of a question, really, to say that. It shouldn't <laughs> be UK. It, it shouldn't be UK. It should not It should be Europe, because we are getting that as well in Spain. <laughs> and Italy is also yeah. having it. Yeah, here's the thing I noticed. Here's uh, the thing I noticed. We, uh, it's... Go on. Whenever I mention this news, uh, this news in spe- uh, to be specific, like the My Little Pony books, it's always UK, Italy, uh, maybe sometimes in Poland, I'm not 100% sure. And I always ask, James, do they have it here, there in your country? And you'll say, yes, we have it here. So I'm just going to go for whatever um, EQD says. <laughs> Also, UK's best British, uh, best European country. So, uh... EQDE is right only twenty five percent of the time. Uh, that's still pretty happens. good. Twenty five percent of the time. Don't don't trust don't trust the guys at EQDE for getting the facts right all the time. Uh, well, it's it seems they came in a very anti EQDE mood today. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. <laughs> the guys are fine. I have no problem with them, but. Sometimes when they get the facts wrong, it just, it irks me. It really, it really pisses okay. me off. I like, I like it, I like it when news outlets get the facts <laughs> correct. It's the difference between a proper news outlet and Fox yeah, News. Brilliant. That's, that's my main concern. Um, what you say is that it's not a book, it's the magazine, mm-hmm. the official magazine. And yeah, it is in Spain as well. And yes, it comes with a vinyl scratch figure, which is Oh, wow. Yes, it's like a mini. It's like a miniature version of the Funko yeah, vinyl. And honestly, I have this. Like, you know what? I will say. I will say it's even better than the um, vinyl because it's it's cheaper and it's not super well, heavy. Okay, uh, this one I'm guessing is just the same mold as the vinyl figure from Funko, but it's. I, I think it's much made of cheaper plastic than what uh, Funko has. Yeah, because it's a lot mm-hmm. lighter. You can like bend it and all that. It is, it, it's not as sturdy as you might mm-hmm. expect. But then again, it's a, it's a tiny, cheap little plastic, plastic toy it's magazine, that you get on, on a, ma- it's not a magazine. I mean, come on. There is a level of demand that you have the right to, to, to ask for a magazine. And I think you are, you can be surpassed, you could be surpassing it. I'm pretty sure if the Chinese kid had to make it out of expensive plastic, they'd be a bit pissed off. Why is the Chinese kid involved now? Because okay, China you tell, is. You tell me where it reckon. You reckon where it's made. You tell me it's, it's probably made. made. In a... China is always involved in everything. Yeah, I know, but it's know not that. a kid. They don't use child labor anymore. No. <laughs> no, they stopped like yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like they're doing. How ironic something. is yeah. they, they and using they resume it? again oh. on Monday. <laughs> You know what, I've just got a bit of an idea because I've just realised how, like, going on James's little theory on about how he's a little bit annoyed with question daily and about how we're sl- slowly sort of getting angry. There's a little thing I've been wanting to, su- I suggest that actually at my workplace, and I reckon it'd be quite funny to do here for, like, one of these sort of charity live streams mm-hmm. like Team OK do, is put us all in the room okay. f- to raise money, subject us to those annoying things that drive us oh. mad anytime we swear, donate money. Didn't uh, Full Paper did this to raise money for charity by forcing him to watch, um, what was it? James Aliens, what was it called? Uh, Full Papers watched the whole thing of yeah, ancient yeah, yeah, aliens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to raise money for charity to help Mando, Mando Pony's uh, gra- grandmother. Yeah, that. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I could, I, like, you say, it's say hard to not swear. I mean, I don't, I'm pretty sure I keep my language in check when, uh, when I'm on a podcast or if I'm recording a video, but, uh, the moment, uh, the moment recording's off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so true, so true, so true. But hey, um, at least if you guys love vinyl, here's an option for you to get her. Uh, I need to get it back on track. Huh? I need to get it back on track. Sorry, the moment you said that, all I could think of is one way or another. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you. Didn't that play in the jam soundtrack? They use it for 
I, I don't know, it's kind of back in my head. What? The one you sang? I, I think they... Yeah, no, for, for what? the hologram. I think they parodied it or they no. covered it. I, I don't know. It's something... I need to watch it again. Huh. Looks fun. Uh, but with that, oh boy. Uh, we, we, we reach our end. We reach our end. So, guys, anything to add? I'm the king. I say what okay. we <laughs> <laughs> this podcast shall last forever. No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. But well, anyway, if you now, my mum comes in and says, <laughs> "Kick the hell out." Of It'll last forever if we somehow manage to get on like one of those comedy channels on TV, like Dave. <laughs> the show. The show. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at show at gmail dot com. And if you want to reach us on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. Sweetie Bot says, Go tank M.A. Larson now. And you can also reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And tickling my fancy now are Weebos. <sighs> I'm addicted. James. You sad, sad I person. Know. Speaking of addicted and sad, sad people. <laughs> 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 oh, God. You can join me on this. Yeah? You can find me under your bed. Oh no! Every night, oh. watching you sleep. Oh. Every step you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. Uh, that took a horrible turn, <laughs> King. You were saying? All right. That depends on how oh, you look wait. at it. Uh, you were thinking? Yeah. Oh, I just got every achievement in Pony <laughs> Clicker. I am a terrible, terrible person. Uh. So. You're not, you're not a terrible person, just another sad individual losing their lives to Steam sales and stupid video games about clicking oh, I and bu- not I doing bought anything. a few games. I got bought a few games. And I put, the thing is, I bought them for Let's Plays. So, that's a, that's a thing. Like, if you... Yeah, 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 that's what everybody <laughs> says. Then you're never gonna play them ever. You know that. That's Gabe, actually, I've Dave compl- Newell knows <laughs> that. He knows. No, he knows I've, that I've, you I've... buy the games just for the sake of buying that you are not actually <laughs> playing them. No, 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 no. I've already completed one of them and they've already recorded that space. So no. Steam game sales are like Pokemon and your wallet is the Pokemon. <laughs> it's not about who plays all the games that you buy. It's about how many of the games you buy before this. Uh, so true. In which case, I'm Team Rocket and I stole them to use for my evil plans of Let's Plays. <laughs> in I which case, got... Steam Legal is going to have to have a word with you. No, I meant I st- if, if, if Team Rocket takes them to use them, whereas if you just catch the Pokemon for the sake of it, I'm using No, Team days. Rocket takes them to then blow themselves <laughs> up into pieces. So maybe, you know what? You are Team Rocket. Yeah. Uh, you are sabotaging <laughs> yourself. That must mean that by process of elimination, I must be Professor Oak just watching over this going, what is happening? So you're the one that recruits 10-year-old boys and send them out into the wild. <laughs> and I am the back catcher. I like to wear shorts because they are comfy and nice. <laughs> oh, where can they find you, King? Oh, God. You can guys can find me at Backstage Ponies, where you can ask the crew of My Little Pony what it's like to work on the show and what it's like outside of the show. You can check me out at my YouTube channel, where a lot of my hard work is going, where I react to the show and stuff you guys suggest, as well as do less plays and speed paints. And then, of course, you've always got my DeviantArt, which I should probably mm-hmm. update more, but I've got a lot of work. Hey, going on. Uh, talking about your blog, uh, you you drew something of mine. Uh, you answered something of mine. <laughs> the <laughs> spike question, and you did a sp- yeah. Were you happy I'm with happy, that? Happy man, I'm happy. And you did a speed paint of it. Like wow, that, uh, that that's just awesome yeah. and way above and beyond. So how so spike? How did they make you so big for uh, Stephen to make success? Bog. <laughs> um, let's see. Come on, brain. Think, 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 think. And all I could think of was. Costume, bulk biceps working out, and after effects. <laughs> uh, those, those things are so true. Those things are so true. Uh, so wait, magic doesn't exist in that universe? In, in the canon, no. Uh, they all wear, like unicorns and pegasus just have accessories. They're all earth ponies and after effects are literally what I said, like computer. Oh stuff. wow, this brings a whole new canon to My Little Pony and Friends. Yeah, no, it, no, it's a, it's, it's, yeah, it's a whole, it's a canon, not a head canon. Why? Do you know why? Pinky proved me right <laughs> in the episode with Discord recently. Uh, Think about it. She shakes the damn camera. Uh, true that. True that. My blog is canon. <laughs> Suck it, fandom. Uh, anyway, Kyle, where can they get you, man? 
Well, you can get me on uh, Facebook with the Helm Bronies at uh, facebook.com forward slash Helm Bronies. Uh, you can also get to me personally on my official Facebook page, which is um, facebook.com forward slash Kyle McCall. And uh, also got a Tumblr as well, um, which is the, the one Midnight Scribe. You can find me there. Uh, oh, anything else that I can publicise now while I've got the opportunity? I've got no products to sell anything. It's like, I feel like I should be selling something to you like a fitted kitchen. Well, what about uh, the show that you... No, no, wait, don't go. Can I interest you in this spatula? It's it's automatic. It's a spatula. That's automatic. An automatic, an automatic spatula? Uh... You're kidding me. I've only ever seen manual ones. I kid you not. That is the thing I've been looking for in my life. Oh, please, King, tell me where I can get one. In my garage. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you something that is interesting. Like you, you, you laugh, but um, there's a thing called an automatic defibrillator, which basically it shocks people for you. However, we recently got one, and it broke when we were doing this first aid training in this course we're doing. So immediately, it had to be. It was an automatic defibrillator that needed manual input. <laughs> what? <laughs> you had to resuscitate the machine that resuscitates people. I had to literally. That literally, is... I was showing people right. The automatic defibrillator works like this, this, and. And uh, you have to do it manually. Why? Because it's... <laughs> <laughs> to which point you want to shout out. Yeah. Reason, technology is not the answer. Uh, <clears throat> well, it is. But... Wow. <clears throat> but anyway, Kyle, don't you have a podcast you want to promote? If Yes. Well, uh, if we're going to be launching a new podcast soon, The Helm Bronies, which is called Midnight Scribes, The Creative Vibes, which should be coming out, I'm hoping, early next week. Fingers crossed of all the the dice roll correctly. I cannot confirm who the guest is. It may be someone that I might have mentioned earlier on. Maybe not. I don't want to give away too much. I mean, I can say one thing though. He is responsible for the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> so I, you really want to watch this? Oh, uh, you know, I I I have that track here with me now, and yeah, it's the pilot for that episode. And the first guest is hmm, interesting, interesting candidate. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say interesting. I, I would say he's like mildly okay. I mean, I don't want to say too much. I mean, uh, you know, just he was he was all right. Uh, interesting fellow. Interesting fellow. Interesting block too. Huh. Yeah. Can Can I just say you? If you got, have you got a podcast you want to introduce? So you introduce you you advertising the competition on your well, podcast because the chances uh, okay. of us going there are high, King. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> it's not competition when you're helping yes, your friends. And also, cross-pollinate. They they come to us, we come to them. You know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> oh, yes, no, n- wink, wink, nudge, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something else that we could use as a metaphor. Pancake. Oh, bacon, bacon, pancakes, bacon, bacon, pancakes. Have you been, have you been watching season five? Hell yes, yeah, for the pancakes. Yeah, <laughs> Big on the pancake. <laughs> Shut up, I'm on a diet. I cannot eat pancakes oh. anymore. But anyway, and I'm on a diet not because I, I I look fat, but because I actually am overweight. <laughs> I, I it's funny. I look at I, I look at myself in the mirror, and I don't have like you know how when people are mm-hmm. fat that they are like ninety five percent stomach. Uh I don't. But that's because I am I am uh. tall, so my weight is divided between my stomach and my uh. legs. So you need to get fit then. <sighs> All right. I, no, you should talk to I, hate, about that, I hate I hate I hate exercising. I don't like to do exercises, so I prefer to starve. <laughs> exercising, it's, it's fun. Yeah. No, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, it no, is. No, it isn't. I can't. Okay, okay, no, okay. it isn't. The mindset of the person going into exercising. Fight me. The mindset of the person going into exercising, because can I just point out, James says, "Fight me" to the guy who does. <laughs> <laughs> Exercising is not fun, but there it is. No, it isn't. Fight me. Okay. I have a gun. <laughs> I'm trained to fight against guns. <laughs> I have a donut. I have a Wii Fuck you. U. Ah, well, in which case, would you like to partake in a donut with me? Since Dave is allowed on. Hmm. Oh, I'd love to partake in a donut, donut with you, King. <laughs> I hate every say. single and each, and each one of your brain cells, and I will destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you. I don't. That, that, would take to, that would take too much exercise, James. I wouldn't worry then about it. I will, I will keep them for myself because I don't have any. <laughs> oh god! But anyway, oh, there was everybody. Ah, oh, boy. Mm, also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like us on Facebook. Yes, we have the Facebook. <laughs> you can also catch us on funnyvillive dot com. So I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been a Spanish person. <laughs> I've been Kirk Hastings, and I continue to be. I've been Kyle. 
And we'll see you guys next week with more donuts and less exercising. Yes? I don't know about you. I'm going to be exercising. Okay. How can there be less exercising? I, I don't know. You just do. Oh, trust me. There's always a way of having less exercising. You know, Kyle, let's you and me play We Fit. We, we something, you know? <laughs> That's not exercising. It is. Oh, trust me. standing in the living room looking like a... That's not a word. That's what I do most of the time anyway. Oh. Well, yeah, but... I suppose if you're working towards something, yeah, okay, fair enough. I'll let you be <laughs> We'll catch you guys. Thank you, King. I do appreciate it. My the King God. has spoken. We'll catch you guys next week. My bye. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Bye bye. Because I know King here, like Sonic. Right, King? King? I think we have a lost King. Oh, no. No, I'm King. sorry. I, uh, I, so I typed a message out and I, uh, I needed the mic, so sorry about that. For a moment, I almost screwed by your show. No Kings. No God. I was like, I was literally, I was like, they can probably hear this mute. So, sorry. I was saying, um, I wonder why James was ignoring me. I was like, no, what? I couldn't hear you, dude. Come on. Yeah, Look, I know, I'm, I, I know, I'm, I know. I'm, That's not a word. I mean, I mean there is, there is enough proof yeah, of that. Your mind. That's not a word. <laughs> Wait a second. No. That's not a word. It's different. <laughs> unless we, unless we roll play. Anyway, uh, <laughs> three, two, one. Where can they find you, King? Oh God. Uh, on the ask to ask ponies ask. That's not a word. <laughs> what? As a pound for the charity yep. appeal. <laughs> Oh no! I, I, I'm, I'm, this nope. isn't going to be in Norman. Oh no! Norman's <laughs> going to keep that in. Yeah, he's going to keep it. He's going to keep it in. Oh, he knows all about keeping it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, keeping it in. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to have to end the show. If the show can jump off the rails, so can we. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm going to jump off the rails for a while. I'll be back. <laughs> uh, well, if Archie Mars is this really break Norman. I think that's pretty good. Have you seen the signs of him? He's like a Norman. twig. We can break him any day. It's super easy to break Norman. You just need to put him inside an airplane. That's easy. No, well, that's no, easy. The, reason, the reason he's been broken so easy is because he's made out of cheap plastic that's been made in China. Yeah, of course. Well, no, no, no. It's even cheaper because he's made in Malaysia. Uh, no, no. China's much cheaper. China's much cheaper. Uh, okay. But China, China exports to everybody. Nobody exports from Malaysia. That means that, che- that plastic is even cheaper. Uh. You've actually, no, they, you've made no, 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 right. They do, they do export from Malaysia. The problem is that they always lose the packages. <laughs> the MBS show! <laughs> Racism is mad, <magic>. Right. <laughs> right, okay. Now that none of that's going in, three, two,